If you're a fan of James and the Giant Peach, then stick around, because you're about to discover seven facts you didn't know about this beloved movie adaptation of Roald Dahl's novel. This movie was made in large part because of the success of Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Roald Dahl was very much against any more movie adaptations of his books after his disappointment over the depiction of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. So as a result, he had turned down many offers to make a movie about James and the Giant Peach. But after the author's death in 1990, his widow Lissy was so impressed by what Tim Burton and director Henry Selick achieved with The Nightmare Before Christmas that when the two filmmakers approached her to see if they could make James and the Giant Peach, she agreed. It took three years of painstaking work to make the movie. At least 130 people were involved in the creation of the puppets, and 15 puppets were created for each of the main characters. To give you an idea of how patient stop-motion animators have to be, on average it took an entire week just to finish one minute of film. But some of the more complicated shots could take up to six days just to complete 12 seconds of screen time, which means that an animator spent a whole day working on just two seconds of screen time. A not-so-hidden easter egg can be spotted on board the pirate ship when you see that the captain was Jack Skellington from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Paul Terry was selected out of 500 boys to play James after auditioning several times for the part. But turning Paul into a clay figure was difficult, because in the early stages of development, his puppet eyes were designed like human eyes, and so they were considered to be too realistic looking and it made him look spooky. So they eventually settled on button-style eyes that added a much warmer look to the character. There are some famous voices in the cast that you may have heard of, such as Richard Dreyfuss as the Centipede and Susan Sarandon as Miss Spider. But there's even two Harry Potter alums in the cast, who were Miriam Margoyles as Aunt Sponge and David Thewlis as the Earthworm, who in Harry Potter were Professor Sprout and Lupin respectively. James and the Giant Peach is Disney's second hybrid animation film that was rated PG. The first PG-rated hybrid film that Disney made was Who Framed Roger Rabbit, which was made nearly a decade earlier. Randy Newman composed the music for James and the Giant Peach at the same time he was creating music for Toy Story. He wrote five songs for James, including Eating the Peach, which had lyrics that were written by Roald Dahl himself from his book. And Randy Newman's music earned the film an Academy Award nomination for Best Original Music or Comedy Score. Click the video up above to discover facts about other Roald Dahl movie adaptations, such as Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and Matilda, or click the suggested video down below to discover more fun facts about your favorite films.